Hello my friends, it is Morgan, um, or otherwise known on here as Miss T and Stitches. And as you can see, my Mill Hill box is overflowing, especially with, this is my pile of most recent kits that I found secondhand at a flea market. So I figured it is high time to give you guys an updated Mill Hill kit collection. I do not have all of my finishes uh, because I had keep them at work stuck to the side of my desk, um, the magnets. But I do have this beauty, which I just FFO'd, which is Cats and Jacks, a part of the Frightful Delight series. And these are the kits that come on the Witchelt 28 count linen. And it is just gorgeous. These are very simple um, and easy. The charting is really simple. And I think if you wanted to ease into linen, one of these kits would be a great way. Um, and also learning to bead on linen. If you were perhaps interested in a Mirabilia or a Bella Filipina, which I both believe often call for beads, I think one of the Mill Hill kits would be a great way to see if you like the beading and to practice. But I just finished this into this nice, fat, chunky pillow with some of this super cute pom-pom. I am obsessed with pom-poms right now, putting the trim on everything I finish, and also making things into pillows. And for the backing, I just use this gorgeous Halloween fabric. Uh, I actually got this from Hobby Lobby, which shocked me because they never have Halloween things. Um, but so I just finished him, and I need to start his companion piece soon so I can have him out for Halloween this year. But let's get into the bin. So, hold on, I need a sip. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm just getting over a summer cold that turned into bronchitis, so my voice is a bit different. But So I hope you'll bear with me and that you don't mind too much. But let's do my Santas first. So I have Antarctic Santas, Penguin Santa, MH202031. This was a gift from one of my dear friends, and I can't wait to stitch him. And here's what the back looks like. As you can see, he's on the bigger perforated paper. And we have beads and our floss tangle. The next Santa I have is one of the National Park Santa. And I got this also as a gift from a friend, um, Grand Canyon Santa, because I went to the Grand Canyon uh, last spring. It was amazing. It was stunning. Um, those are gorgeous beads. Wow, I love that color combination. And I can't wait to stitch him and have him on my tree um, to help remember the trip. Okay, next up is Mill Hill Ghost Trilogy, and this is a, a trilogy, obviously. I only have this one, um, and I just loved how you could see through the ghost, that little black cat. Gorgeous. I love cats, and I love stitching cats. Um, I also really like the stunning pattern you get. I hope you can see of the beads and backstitch all in white on this guy. He's gorgeous. Um, a lot of the kits I have were enabled by the lovely Calico Whimsy, Christine. She will be tagged below. If you like Mill Hills, you definitely should be watching her if you don't already know who she is. She stitched this one, and that's the reason I bought this one. Can't wait to stitch it. Honestly, if this is going to be a drinking game, uh, you should take a shot every time I say I can't wait to stitch it, but you'd probably die, so. Okay, next up. This was one of last year's releases. Oh, I'm off center. This is one of last year's Buttons and Beads Autumn series. This one comes with glow-in-the-dark beads, which I'm so excited to use. This is Into the Woods. And this is the first kit I bought where they have switched to the plastic beads versus the um, just another button company hand-painted ceramic ones. So that's a little 
disappointing. But, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I have Courting Froggies, which, uh, if you're new here, I love frogs, and I love toads, and I love lizards, and I stitch mostly animals, so I had to have this one. This was also a gift, and as, as you can tell, people in my life know that I love to stitch, so gorgeous beads. Okay, next we have Stitching, which is 2212, and it's this gorgeous pink bird and on a spool, a ball, a thread, maybe some pearl cotton, maybe she's embroidering in her thimble, and these pretty, pretty flowers. And I love that uh, they reuse similar or the same button. So I think they'll look really cute when I have them all stitched and done. Okay, next I have uh, Barnyard Morning, which I really like this one. I love the little detail of the backstitch chicken wire. I think that's gorgeous. I love the sun effect. All of this one is just really cute. And the button on this one is the ceramic barn. It's a nice big one too. I think these would be really cute to use to make needle minders out of, but I just usually sew them onto the finished piece. Okay, next I have Frog Pond. This one is out of print, and this one is hard to find. Um, but look, it has uh, that same dragonfly. Oh, and it has a cute frog. This one has two buttons. I love their frog button. And I kind of want to hunt these down and make earrings. I, I think I said that last year when I showed this. Okay, okay, it looks like we are on to the, yep. So now we're on to the ones that are on Ada and Linen. So this is a Jim Shore kit called Ace. It is the Ace card. And I just thought this was gorgeous. I'm not a huge card person. This uh, series by Jim Shore also has the king, the queen, and the jack, I believe. Let me pull it out to show you. Maybe, hold on. So this kit did, oh, a scissors. Um, I buy most of my cross stitch secondhand, and this one came opened and incomplete without the beads, unfortunately. So, so here, you can kind of see them. Uh, so I will probably use the leftovers from other kits because like this I can tell is the green that they call grasshopper um, just by looking at it because I've done so many of these kits. Um, and Mill Hill is very generous with the amount of beads they give you in each kit. Okay, next up is tulips and daisies which has this beautiful butterfly. I love the border. But we all know I bought this for this little fellow. I love his smile. But still in print. You can still get this one on one, two, three stitch. And these ones don't tend to have as many beads. They're more stitched. Okay, I have one of the gnomes from Gnome Quartet, which is the hiking gnome. I love this one. And I really want to get another one too. I think I also want sledding gnome and skiing gnome, but I don't need to buy them all at once. Slowly, slowly. And oh, this is the kit I mentioned earlier, the one of the companions for Jackson Cats. This is Haunted Crow, designed by Debbie Mum. I love her style, and I'm really looking forward to stitching this one as well. I'll probably finish it the same way because I have plenty of that uh, piping it's not piping I have plenty of that striped backing fabric of course you know I also really want this one that's a frog this one's just okay I might need to get him to complete the set we'll see sometimes I get like that okay now we're going to do my most recent purchases which are these banners 
um, band kits is what they call them. So these are out of front and you kind of have to keep an eye out for them and you just happen upon them. So first I got Tulip Bouquet and these I think are so pretty. They come with this Ada band. I think it's 18 count. Yeah, 18 count stitching band. It comes with this piece of ribbon to do the top bow on and you stitch onto it, which I am a little nervous about getting my stitching perfectly centered, but these are just gorgeous and I really like the treasures that come with these kits. So I have this one. I also have Stargazer Lily, which is more pink and still beautiful. Hope the glare isn't too bad for you guys. Um, there's Stargazer. So some of these were opened. So I did check that the, all the pieces were there. There's This one has a lot of treasures. Uh, and the last one from that series I picked up was Calla Lily. And I, my favorite part of this one, love that pink bow and you just get that gorgeous little heart. See? Treasure. Um, these two she gave to me as a bundle because one of them didn't have the pattern, which I did not realize until I got home. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try to stitch from the preview or if I'll just do one twice or I don't know. But so Crimson Cardinals, I do not have the actual pattern for this. So um, if anybody has the pattern, would like to sell me the pattern when you're done with it or share the pattern with me when you've completed yours. I would love that, um, but I'm not going to worry about it. As you can tell, I have a nice pile to stitch on, um, and this is Snow Garden, which I just love. That little bluebird charm, I love that little guy with his little hearts. Oh, and this one is interesting because I've never seen a Mill Hill kit come with a floss sorter included like this. That's really cool. I'm looking forward to trying that. So I should definitely stitch one of these for my house for Christmas. And I also, the last one I got from the same seller was this Treasured Spring Sampler Kit. This is Forget Me Not MHTS15. And this is just stunning. Um, I really like this one. I, I don't typically like the white on white. Does that help the glare any? No, but I think this one is so delicate and I probably will do this one sooner rather than later because I think it's so pretty. You get to do these specialty stitches in here and it's just gorgeous. I love this band of it. I think the effect with the bugle beads is very creative and I like it a lot. So this one was open, so I have to keep it, keep him all together. Okay. In that same vein, I have one beaded pin pillow. These are little pin cushions that you embroider and bead, and they come with a magnet in them. So I have Daisy Dream. There's a whole series of these, and I think they're very pretty. I would love to do the rose. And I really like pansy petals, but I'm not letting myself buy any more of these kind until I do this one. And as you can see, it comes with a nice big magnet that, their magnets are very strong. But look how cute he is. He, look how cute this kit is. Okay. <clears throat> okay, um, another random that I have, it, which is an out of print kind of kit they don't make anymore, um, is the stitched and beaded petite purse. I have Ebony Jewel and it is really cute. Like these are so pretty. These are so Victorian. I think they're gorgeous. Um, I almost bought another one of these recently but it didn't have any of the beads left. Like it was a kit somebody had already done and they were asking for a little bit more than I could justify for just leftovers in a pattern. 
But as you can see, you get a lot of beads. You get all of these gorgeous treasures. The perforated paper. So, I think these are really cool. Um, I like these kind of creative projects as well. And also, um, Mill Hill used to make kits for bracelets. And I've also seen watches. And I have green ice. Um, and they look really, they look really interesting. I've always wanted to make this kind of beading, so I have to try that too. Um, some of their bracelet kits I've seen on eBay feel very dated, very like 2000s to me because they're like anthropomorphic snowmen. I think there's an Uncle Sam one. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> They feel very kindergarten teacher chic, which is a vibe that I personally love, so I do not mean that in a negative way at all. Um, okay. Oh, um, next up, all we have left are my Mill Hill small ornaments. These are my favorite thing to stitch from Mill Hill. I've done a lot of them, and I will continue to do a lot of them because they are so dang cute. So these are not organized in any type of way. Um, I just kind of stick them in here and we're just gonna grab and go. Okay, so number one, Lizard. He's really cute. Um, still in print. He's got a really cute little treasure in there. And he is from the Spring Series um, from 2017 it looks like. Oh, and like I said earlier, their magnets in these kits are very strong. So, you definitely don't need to replace it. Look, you could definitely use these as needle minders, and you wouldn't have to worry about losing your needle on a bigger project. Okay, ooh, this is a gift. <laughs> this is Frog Egg, and he is awful in the best way. Um, oh my god, I love how this, like... On first glance, this always looks like a butt, okay? I'm sorry, I'm a child. Uh, I'm gonna stitch him, he's double-sided, so I'm sure he'll be twice as much work. But all of the Jim Shore egg ones, like, I don't know what it is, it's like Uncanny Valley. He looks evil, and I'm gonna stitch him 100%, and probably leave him up all year. Okay, um, it looks like I sorted this one, and was gonna start it. This is Golden Sun. That one is really cute, um, and it looks like it would be very simple. I think it's, yeah, look, it's literally, it's two colors. So I'm going to stick him in my bag, probably, and set this to be my work project. So I'm going to set that aside. Okay, let's grab. So, ooh, okay. Some of their older kits, they used to make, um, you would finish as a pin. So this is one of those, and they were called Pin Whimsies. Uh, so this is Chicken a la Mode. She's stunning, I love her hat. So cute. She almost reminds me of a peep, and I love that for her. But see, it came with a pin back as well. I've done a few of these. I usually finish them um, as magnets with my own magnet, and just kind of stick the pin part in my beading supplies. Um, Ooh, this is one of the newer ones. So this is Bear Canoe. This is one of the 2022 spring ones. Love him. Um, I love that he's canoeing. I love his little moon, crescent moon. And oh, $9. I actually bought this one at a stitching shop. I remember I was so excited to find a shop on of a trip I was on, so I had to buy one. Um, I also have, this is one of the newer ones, Kitty Love, a spring bouquet, and I need to, this is a 2023 one, I need to start this one actually, because I bought him, because he looks just like my aunt's cat, and I was going to make it for her for last Christmas, and I obviously never did, so again, he needs to stay at the top. Okay. Ooh, grab, grab, grab. Okay. <clears throat> this one is also very new. It is Canada Goose. He's got his little hot chocolate. 
He's got his hat and his scarf. Look, he's a Ravenclaw. No, I'm kidding. Um, and he's really cute. He's also a 2023. Um, oh, I just bumped you, I think, with my head. And I like that these ones, I think recently they've been doing more not green and red holiday Christmas. Um, I've been seeing, noticing a trend of a lot of the blues and the silvers and that kind of thing in their kits as well, and I think that's really cool. I love to see them trying new things. Um, and like I said, I think they've been doing an amazing job with kit designs recently. So here's Antique Daisy. Um, this is an older one. I believe it's out of print. And it's a, it's a pin back as well, which uh, I won't be finishing. This one is really interesting to me uh, because it comes with two different colors and pieces of the perforated paper, which I've never seen before. So you have your green and you have your red for the daisy and the um, leaves. So go back in. Um, oh, oh, there's a frog I don't have. Gone fishing froggy. I wonder if he's still in print. I should look. He's cute. Um, there are a couple frogs that are out of print that I have not been able to get my hands on. And I know they're really highly sought after, so to be honest, I'm not holding my breath. Um, one of them is called Ribbit, which is cute, but not as cute as Fritzy Frog, which... I love him. I would pay probably more than I should admit for him, but that's okay. Because I'll probably never find him for sale, so it's, it doesn't matter either way. Um, next up is Christmas Cardinal. Um, I've done one of these birds, and it was not super difficult, but not super fun to sew all of these layers of paper together. It was a little tedious, but you get a really nice effect. Um, and this one, instead of a treasure, it comes with this um, as stats floss. It's like plastic fuzzy bit that you uh, tack along the top like cording, and it gives him that feather effect. Oh, this one is an Autumn Harvest Pumpkin Man. He's out of print. I had to hunt him down on eBay. I don't know what it is about him. I love him. Uh, he, I love his accessories. I always joke that he has the Gucci belt. Um, I love the colors of his floss. He's so vibrant. So this one is from 2011. Uh, there are still some of these floating around on eBay if you would also love to stitch. Pumpkin Man with the Gucci belt with me. <laughs> and lastly is Flora Frog, which I showed in a recent haul. But she is so cute. So cute. This is another pin kit. And again, I'll make her into a magnet. I like the rooster. Oh, I love that garden butterfly. <gasps> Sammy Snail. Okay, I need to get on eBay after this. This is bad for me. Um... But that is my last one. You have now seen all of my Mill Hill kits. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.